Still undefeated. Yes, sir. Jabril Noble wins Great a ball. split decision against Rashawn Torch Adams. Yes, sir. How you feeling? Should have been a white ball. And I feel great, Mill. It was a hell of a fight. Torch came and rumbled, he rumbled hard, and we got it in. Me and Torch got it in. 5 0 versus a 4 0. Yes, sir. Battle yes, on the undefeated. You came out on top. What does that mean to you, bro? I mean, everything. I mean, all the work I've been putting in is coming to the light. I'm not saying I didn't have confidence in myself, but this right here, being an undefeated guy, somebody that's known for knocking people out and known for doing this thing, and I'm beating him, coming in, dropping him in the fourth round, and, and finishing the fight out strong, I feel amazing. Uh, you dropped him, I think that I think it was the fifth, yeah. right? Oh, the fifth right. round. Well, but it was, like, it was like 10 seconds to go. The bell rung. Did you feel like if you had more time, you would have got him out of there? Hell yeah, because he was hurt. I seen when he got up, he stumbled to the upper corner. It was my fault because I was so hyped and I was opposed and I went to the wrong corner. I was supposed to go to my neutral corner. If it had 30 seconds in there, I'd have knocked his ass out. How did you set up the shot? I set up behind the jab. jab they kept telling me, Just go behind the jab, go behind the jab. Greg kept saying, go behind the jab. I set up behind the jab, hitting with a hook right hand. You seem like he's an inside fighter, kind of like Sean Porter, brings a lot of pressure. You seem to abandon the jab early in the fight and then you fought his fight yeah. inside, backed him up a couple of times. Like, uh, wh why did you resort to that game plan? Um, honestly, because I already had my mind he was going to try to walk me down and me uh, come with experience, um, keep, me, keep me composure in fight, in the type fight. It was my, one of my biggest fights to date. And, and you got to have your composure. And not saying I don't have composure, but I'm, 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 I'm early in my career. So I ain't going to lie. He started hitting me with shots. I blacked out, and we started getting it in. <laughs> That's what, it, that's, that's what it was. I'm not, well, I ain't gonna say I'm not composed. I got it in me, but I, I, this fight, I wasn't composed enough to get hit with them big shots and still take my time to do that. That's something we're gonna get, though. Trust me, it's something we're gonna get. All we do is stay in the gym and keep working. What do you think of Torch as a fighter? Oh, yeah, hell of a fighter. That nigga, he hit, he hit hard. Hardest I've been hit so far. He punched. He, um, he kept coming. He tough. He tough. I'm punching him on the side of his neck. He punching me in the back of my head. I'm punching him in his dick. He punching me in my dick. He <laughs> everything. He, he came to run with it. No land down. This was a test battle right here. He, it was no land down. Everybody was going. You had to kill us in that ring tonight. Mm -hmm. You trained Greg Hackett. What instructions did he give you to pull out like those last couple of rounds? Keep moving my head. I knew he was setting up that big ass right hand. I knocked him down. That's what he was setting up for the rest of the doing. Greg Hagen and Rel kept telling me just keep moving my head. Use a jab. Rel wanted me to do the one two. I abandoned it a lot, but I got to it. Not as much as he wanted, but I got to it. And, and Greg just kept telling me to, to stay composed and use my jab. Bro, use your jab. Use your jab. Go to the body. That's all I got here. Last question for me. Grade your performance. Um, I give myself a seven. We still got a lot of work to do, so I give myself a seven. Okay.